Your stomach, oh, dreadful. For four generations. That is how long my family has been producing wine. Producing Plonk unfit to drink, you mean? Which is exactly why you should sell Belgat to me, not him. <clears throat> As a ducal clerk, I must look after the duchy's best interests. Belgard currently belongs to the treasury. The minister of the treasury has clearly expressed his desire that Belgard be handed over to a responsible steward. Yet, diverse troubles beset both your present holdings. Until you resolve them and thus prove yourselves competent, selling Belgard to either of you is out of the question. Well, Happy, this is your fault! Mine? You're deranged, woman! Hark! Good folk! Be it known, Matilda de Vermentino is a cursed, spiteful lunatic! Doesn't look cursed to me. Just really, really angry. Ticked her off quite a bit, you have. Truly? How would you know? A shrew tamer, are you? A witcher. So no expert, I guess. But it doesn't take an expert to see when a woman's angry. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you speak the truth, brother. Wait, did you say witcher? Not seeking work, are you? Y you see, I wish to buy a vineyard. Belgard. Yet that bloody bureaucrat's not likely to sell it to me until I settle my troubles at home, at Coronata. What kind of troubles we talking about? Ah, uh, it's botched in more ways than one. The herbarium, infested with monsters. My steward, gone missing, with an entire transport of wine. Uh, and someone's abducted my herbalist. A lot of bad luck for one little vineyard. If you ask me, it's that Matilda, her handiwork. A sugar sweet face, a temper sharp as horseradish. So will you help? Sure sounds like work for a witcher. Yeah, I'll help. I am really, truly grateful. Thank you. My vineyard lies east of here. You're sure to find it. Now forgive me. I must talk to that quill pusher. I might win him over yet. Yes? I heard you talking to that oafish ogre Liam. Disgusting man. The worst sort. First, seduces with the dashing gaze, the fair face, then reveals a coal black heart. But that's all beside the point. I stopped you because I want to buy Belgat too. Alas, things are rotten at my own vineyard, Vermentino. <clears throat> Strange coincidence. No coincidence. I am certain Liam's thrown a stick in my spokes. Several sticks. My cooper and blacksmith both have mysteriously vanished. Man-eating plants have sprouted on my paths, and strange things are afoot on Pheasant Hill. Ah, the list goes on, but the crux is one. I must solve my problems at Vermentino if I'm to stand any chance of acquiring Belgard. Would you help me before you help Liam? I'm willing to pay more than he's offered you. I can help. Please try. Wonderful. You've no idea how much that means to me. My vineyard lies due west. I shall stay here for a time. I must make certain Liam does not pull some stunt while my back is turned. Gotcha. Farewell. By the Prophet's wounds. A witch. Oh! A curious land, <clears throat> this Tucson. What now? Marcus 
boys will sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. Pigs can fly. Oh, unbelievable. Uh, we're to kiss the ground you walk on, is that it? But you just did your diddly witchily duty. Crotch not get you. Lads, charge! Sam, Take him for a ride! Save me. of herbs for a new flavored wine. Well, suddenly... Calm down. It's over. The bank did less kidnapped me. In hopes of collecting a ransom, I'm sure. But with Master Liam's troubles, he never could have paid them. Ah, but I'm free and safe, thanks to you. <laughs> Should you need any herbs, I've a hearty stock at the Coronata. Will you walk me there? Lead the way, right behind you. Here we are. Once again, I thank you for the rescue. Wish to look over my stock? 
Show me what you got. Thanks. See you later.